Hello, today I'm going to talk about the main differences between the Skybin 1 and Skybin 2 and also I'm going to show you what you will find inside the package and also uh, how to use a Skybin configurator in order to uh, set up your Skybin 2. So let's see how we do that. So here we have a Skybin 1st generation and Skybin 2nd generation. As you can see, the first difference is in the design itself. Right now we have it in three colors, green one, blue one and the orange one. Inside the package of the Skybin 2 you will find Skybin 2 itself, then micro USB cable, velcro, spare battery, some stickers and a simple manual how to set up your Skybin just by clicking one button. It's very intuitive, it's very easy. Second difference is in the sensitivity of the Vario. The sensitivity is significantly improved by changing a barometric pressure sensor, which is right now the most precise sensor on the market. Second feature is that the Skybin 2 right now has a micro USB connection and it's used for setting up your Skybin 2 and also you can send barometric data to application on your mobile phone, which is called XCTrack. I will show you right now how to set up your Skybin 2 by using a very uh, intuitive and easy application that you can download on our website. So let's see how we do that. So if you want to connect your Skybin 2 to your PC or a Mac in order to set it up, first you have to open your browser, then type vps.skybin.eu Choose applications, based on what operating system you have, you choose Windows, Mac or Linux, in our case it's Windows, I will download the application, then just run the application, sometimes it asks for whether it's uh, safe to run the application, then click more info and then run anyway and it will, it will simply start. Then the application will ask you for connecting the Skybin 2. You just do it by plugging the micro USB inside of it and then pressing the main button. And right now you can set, set up your Skybin. Every change you will do, for example, I will change the auto power off for five minutes. I will change volume to level three and I will change sync threshold for bigger value. Also there is a second tab, audio, and there you can change your audio profile and also the reset for factory settings. Every change you will do, it's saved immediately and once you unplug the Skype in two, everything is set it up as you, as you did. Remember there is also a feature for sending barometric data as an external barometric sensor to your mobile phone and if you want to do that you need to buy an OTG cable which is not included in the package. So that's all, thank you for watching guys and have a many nice flights with the Skybeam 2.